Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today we are going to learn how to activate our new licensed Zoom accounts. So the easiest way to do it is to log into Classlink. And once you are in Classlink, you want to make sure that you go down and find the Zoom button. It looks a little bit different. We updated it and you click on it. Okay, and it's going to do single sign-on for you. Now it is actually based on your Office 365 credentials. Uh, we're not going to say the password, but the first time you do it, it's going to ask you to confirm your email, okay? So you just want to say confirm your email. So what is this new account going to do for you? So it is a licensed account, so the, uh, the time limit has been lifted. Um, you also have more um, options with breakout rooms, the ability to record to the cloud, and some other features that we will be discussing later on. So we have sent the email. So now you can go to your Office 365 just to check that email to make sure that you have it. And it's going to sign me in too. Let's just give it a second. Okay, so now we are going to be in an Office 365 email and you should have received an email from them and it's right here okay if you don't see it you might have to go to other but we want to go and check on it and it's going to tell you that uh, you are currently a member of the zoom account and, uh, and you are trying to sign into a new zoom account under Joel Duarte so most of us have a free account right now by doing this we're putting you under this domain that is giving you the license account okay so let's go ahead and say switch to the new account it's going to ask you and it wants you to acknowledge. So we're going to acknowledge. Okay, you have the option not to do it, I guess, if you wanted to, but they are switching your account, okay? And it's going to take a little while, but it's going to switch to the new account. Let's give it some time. Some time. And if it doesn't refresh, refresh after maybe about three minutes, what you can do is you can go back to Classlink and open the Zoom account again. And what you are going to notice now is that when you open it, now you actually have and it's opening right now i'm sorry <laughs> if you go to your name you're going to notice that now you have a licensed account and what does that mean to us uh, a couple of things the most important thing you're probably going to notice is that your capacity now is 300 people to join your meeting which is a great great uh, feature to have one of my favorite features you can create a personal link. So if I wanted to just customize this and just call it uh, Mr. Rogan, okay, I could use this link anytime I wanted to start my meeting. So instead of going up here and using the long link, I could just use this and that will work. Um, on top of those uh, features, you also have unlimited time, as I mentioned before, you have the ability to record to the cloud. So when you start your meeting with your students, you can actually tell it to record to the cloud um, after you've done your meeting. It usually takes about five minutes. You get an email that tells you um, your recording is ready. You can come here and it will give you a link of the recording that you can just put in your classroom for students to see at a later time. You have the ability to do polling and there's more abilities with the breakout rooms. If you have any questions on all of this, please contact any of your tech tosas. We also have a video on how you can connect this new Zoom account to your Canvas class. Have, have a great day.